To my beautiful, my love, my bride, Martha, I love you so much. I'm sure it's been the same for you, but I've been asked on repeat, how do you feel? Are you ready? How nervous are you? And despite the fact that there are very normal questions, I'm not nervous at all. I'm ready to be your husband. For the rest of our lives, I get to introduce you as my wife, and I hope I take pride every single time you introduce me as your husband. Andrew, I'm so ready to see you, and I can't wait to be your wife. Um, it's the honor of my life to be your partner, um, and I'm so grateful that God chose me for you, and I really cannot wait to do this. So let's go. Andrew, you have married a woman with a tender heart a generous spirit, and a steadfast disposition. Take care of her and love her well each day. I know you will. Martha, you have chosen well. A hardworking and devoted man. Love him with patience and grace. I know you will. Here's an old English blessing that I hope holds true for your new life together. May your joys be as sweet as spring flowers that grow, as bright as a fire when winter winds blow, as countless as leaves that float down in the fall, as serene as the love that keeps watch over us all. Andrew, wow my love, can you believe we've made it? I knew from our second date that this day would come and it is so surreal that it is finally here. Andrew, I am so honored and humbled to be your wife. You are steadfast and faithful, compassionate and kind, strong-willed and driven. From the moment we met, I've been in awe of who God made you to be and to think that I have a front row seat to watch him work through you for the rest of my life. I am so proud of the man you are. The way you see me and love me and show me grace screams of Jesus and I pray as your partner to show the same kind of love to you for the remainder of our days on this side of heaven. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I love you. See you soon, M. Andrew, you've always been the person that's um, been my guide in life. You taught me how to love. You taught me how to be myself. Um, you really taught me who I was. Martha, you're not getting someone that's afraid um, to say I love you in public, and you're not getting someone who gives awkward side hugs. Um, you're getting Andrew. Andrew's the kind of guy that loves without fear. That boy will love you till there's no tomorrow. That's who my brother is, and that's who your husband is. You don't know how happy it makes me when I see you um, look at Andrew, and I see the way he looks back at you. This is a night that Trish and I have prayed for for uh, almost 25 years now. We've learned over the years to trust that God will give us the desires of our heart. I wanted a faithful, strong husband for my daughter. I wanted a motivated man, a focused man. I haven't, however, yet learned to want a Braves fan. <laughs> Andrew, we love you, Braves and all. You treat our daughter the way we've prayed for her to be treated. You love our daughter the way we've prayed for her to be loved. Thank you.
Lord, I'm filled with so many thoughts and emotions, it's difficult to find words. Lord, you have blessed me beyond what I deserve or have even ever dreamed of. Lord, thank you for Martha. Thank you for her loving spirit, her passion for glorifying you, and for her love for me. Lord, please bless Martha and I in our marriage. Give us happiness, health, and a desire to pursue you and your glory. Lord, help us to place you at the center of our marriage. Be the building block that we lay the foundation on. Thank you for today. Thank you for being in our lives. Thank you for being with us. In your son's name we pray, amen. power vested in me by the state of California, but more importantly by God Almighty, I pronounce that you are husband and wife this 12th day of August, 2017. Andrew, you may kiss your wife.